Welcome to chemistry class with Anakwe Christopher GK. Once again, your chemistry teacher. All right, it has been a nice time with him. Today, we are going to look at another part of our last video, which is uh, on carbon. But before we continue, remember to subscribe to this channel and also hit the notification button so that whenever I upload a new video, you are going to be notified of that and follow suit as we continue. All right, today we are going to look at this particular topic titled Amorphous Carbon. Amorphous Carbon is the topic for today and is expected by the end of this video, you should be able to explain what wood charcoal is, animal charcoal, sugar charcoal, carbon black and lamp black. These are part of the things you must have to learn today. And lastly, we are going to look at the combustion of carbon, carbon allotropes. Now, we are going to look at this and uh, see what happens when carbon burns in air, either in full supply of air or in, in limited supply of air. So we are going to take them one after the other by beginning with this amorphous carbon. What actually is amorphous carbon, which is our topic for the day? Amorphous carbons, amorphous forms of carbons are the non-crystalline and shapeless form of carbon bound together by impurities. Now, the last video we talked about allotropes of carbon, which are diamond and graphite. Now, these ones, they are also forms of carbon, but they are not the allotropes of carbon because they are not pure uh, substance of carbon. Rather, they are mixed with several impurities, and because of their shapeless nature and non-crystallized nature, we are not, they are not being regarded as allotropes of carbon, rather amorphous carbon. Now, they are not regarded as true allotropes of carbon. They are not regarded as true allotropes of carbon. The amorphous form of carbon include the following. So the following are the amorphous carbon, Amorphous carbon. Number one is coal. Number two is coke. Number three, la carbon black or soot, as the case may be. Number four is lamp black. Number five, wood charcoal. Number six, animal charcoal. Number seven, sugar charcoal. These are the uh, amorphous charcoal, amorphous forms of carbon. Sorry, amorphous forms of carbon and we are going to look at them one after the other. They are all carbon. Whenever you hear about this, charcoal is carbon, coke is carbon, coal is carbon, soot is carbon, lamp black is carbon, animal charcoal, wood charcoal, and all of that, sugar charcoal, they are all carbon. But the thing is that, what form of carbon are they? They, are, they belong to a group we call amorphous, because they are what? They are not crystalline, they are shapeless. Unlike diamond that has a definite shape, uh, and graphite that also has a, a def that has a shape also. All right, we are going to look at these amorphous carbons one after the other by beginning with coal. What is coal? Coal is formed by the gradual decay of plants' vegetation, buried deep down the earth crust. Coal is an important carbon containing mineral which is usually which is used mainly as fuel to generate power for steam engines, factories, and electric plants. Now let's let's come down, let's build, get it. Coal is formed through the gradual decay of plant vegetation. When they go down the earth crust over the years and be subjected to a high heat and temperature and they decay there deep down the earth crust. So what we call coal is formed. The way crude oil is being formed around the river line area when also plants and animals, living things die beneath the sea, beneath the water. So also coal is formed, but on the upland, is still dead plants and animals when they die gradually down the earth cross buried beneath the land. Of course, human beings when they die, they be buried. All the trees there, we are with all the trees, 
the glasses and all of that. When they die, they get buried. They go beyond the earth, beneath the earth crust, and they are being subjected on into the high heat and the high temperature, high temperature and high pressure. And through the process, the substance called coal is formed, but it does not happen in a day, in a month, in a year. It happens millions of years of process. So in Nigeria, of course, we have it in large quantity, large amount of coal, usually at Enugu. Of course, we usually have it there and it's been mined heavily there every year. So it occurs naturally. What of coke? As we can see the picture, the picture of what coal looks like. So let's look at what is coke now. Coke. Of course, some of us may be familiar with the, the, the brand called Coca-Cola and all of that, or Coke. The one we call Coke, Coke and Fanta. Of course, uh, this is not actually what you, that of the mineral you take, but Coke and chemistry means is the residue obtained when coal, the coal we talked about now, is heated in the absence of air to a very high temperature of about 1,300 degrees Celsius in the absence of air. So coke is obtained that way. It's obtained, it's been obtained from coal when it's being heated in a very high temperature in the absence of air. Now, coke is a porous dark gray solid used as a fuel in the production of gaseous fuel, such as, uh, as well as the extraction of metal. We use them uh, as a gaseous fuel and also use them in the extraction of metals. It burns with practically no smoke and leaves very little residue. So they all being used, it's being used as fuel, uh, other ones also coal is also being used. Of course, we use it to generate heat and electricity. Of course, we want to look at another forms of carbon, another amorphous form of carbon, as we have discussed what coal is, what coke is, that we get coke from where? From coal. All right, next one now is wood charcoal. All right, when we are in the village, uh, of course, I used to experience this often, that uh, we cook with firewood. Wood charcoal is obtained by burning wood in the absence or limited supply of air. We, you can express this when you cook, when you use firewood to cook outside where air, there will be enough supply of air. Of course, charcoal will not be produced. If at all it happens, it will be very, very minimal compared to when there is a limited supply of air. So that wood charcoal is just gotten from cooking or burning firewood in limited supply of air. Char wood charcoal will be produced. And that thing is a carbon. It's a form of carbon. It's a form of carbon, but amorphous carbon because it's shapeless and it's a non-crystalline. All right, it is a dark, it's a black, light and porous, porous form of uh, uh, material and also brittle solid. Of course, it can break. If you see a solid one, if you hit it on the ground, of course it breaks. Uh, it serves as a very good absorbent. When wood charcoal is treated with steam, its ability to absorb gases increases and becomes activated charcoal. Of course, we'll be hearing about activated charcoal, which is very, very important in the industry. So that is where we get wood charcoal. Still remember that wood charcoal is a carbon. So these are very different, different forms of carbon we can see uh, we have around us. So another one is that we are going to understand that wood charcoal is commonly used as domestic fuel, which I've talked about it cooking. We use them to cook. And uh, it's also used in gas masks to absorb liquefiable gases, such as ammonia, uh, hydrogen sulfide, chlorine gas, and sulfur dioxide, including uh, hydro hydrogen chloride gas. 
Artificial charcoal, as I said, that is very, very useful in the industry. It is being used in the purification of water to remove unpleasant odor. Can you imagine that? Charcoal is dark, but it's used in, prefer, in purifying water to remove what unpleasant takes, taste, odor, and even color. It purifies water. That is wonder of heaven, wonder of nature. All right, um, that is it for wood charcoal. We have discussed um, coal, cutting from dead plants, vegetations. We have discussed coke, cutting from coal. This is wood charcoal, cutting from wood when it burns. All right, sugar charcoal. What is sugar charcoal? Of course, it is the sugar you know. It is obtained when pure sugar, sugar you know, sucrose, or it could be even uh, glucose. But when it's being heated in the absence of air, when you heat a sugar, sucrose that you eat, you used to eat at home, when it's being heated in the absence of air, it will, burn, it will burn and produce what we call sugar charcoal. You see a black object, that thing that looks whitish, will turn to the black. We can also get this sugar charcoal by dehydration. When it's been dehydrated by conk H2SO4, you can dehydrate it, you can get sugar charcoal when you dehydrate sucrose. So sugar charcoal is the purest form of charcoal. It's the purest form of charcoal. Now, the, the equation for the reaction for this is this. Sucrose, the formula for sucrose is C12H22O11, which is uh, solid. Uh, when it's being heated in absence of air, we are going to have this. And, uh, or you can write it this way, removal of water using concrete to 4 water molecule will be removed, and uh, you have the sugar charcoal. So this is the how to get sugar charcoal when you heat sucrose or sugar, pure sugar, in the absence of air, or dehydrated it with conk H2SO4. All right, that is for sugar charcoal. Another one now is animal charcoal. Of course, all of them is when it has to do with heating in the absence of air or very lim or limited supply of air. So. This is obtained when bones and refuse of animals are heated in limited supply of air. Animal charcoal, bones, animals, refuse of animals. This is used to absorb gases and remove color, 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 colors, or you call it dyes, from colored solution. We use them to absorb gases and remove colors from color solution. Powerful. Animal charcoal is used in industrial preparation or purification of sugar. It serves as a decolorizing ch charcoal. It serves as a decolorizing charcoal. So we get it from animal when we burn it, that they are the bones or just the remains of animal. This is how, that is how we get it. All right, the next one, which we are to look at is this, lamp black. This, you can express, experience it if you use, um, uh, when you use crazine or bottle cooking gas to cook or uh, when you burn it. So this is obtained when gaseous or liquid hydrocarbons, hydrocarbons such as Crazine or bottle cooking gas is born in limited supply of air. This is greasy black powdered powder obtained inside crazy lamp. Of course, when we're in the village, I experience this often time that even we see it inside the lamp, where the crazine is, and it will be burned, burnt after being burnt for after a long time you will see that when inside the, inside the crazy lamp, inside the lamp, you will see some black, blackish things that look greasy, and it will be there. That is what we call lamp black. Lamp black is often deposited in the exhaust pipe of motor vehicle due to uh, the exhaust. Due to the absence of the air, it, it will be born, it will burn, and uh, we will see it at the exhaust Pipe there. All right, 
The next one is carbon black or sometimes called soot. Sometimes called soot. Um, here we obtain this when natural gas, mainly methane, is born in an inadequate supply of air. Inadequate, that means limited supply of air. All of them has to do when they born in limited supply of air. It is not as greasy as lamp black. Of course, lamp black has to do with a liquid substance like resin burning in limited supply of air. All right, this one, but at the same time, um, is also black. It's also black. We call it carbon black or soot. It is being used to manufacture carbon paper that we use in writing maybe receipts or around us carbon that we normally use to write to duplicate either triplicate or whatever thing we want to duplicate we use it as printer's ink uh, black shoe polish and the uh, typewriter ribbon we use it in all these places and it is used as black pigments in paints and is usually added to motor vehicle tire for coloration and to reduce its wear and tear so that is what carbon black is used, being used for, and this is where we get it from. When what? Natural gas, something like methane is being born in adequate supply of air. That is where we get it. Remember where we get all these things. And my charcoal, where we get it. Plant uh, sugar charcoal, where we get it. Lamb black, uh, so, uh, soot is uh, carbon black, coal and coke, and uh, sugar charcoal, where we get all these. That is very, very important, and these are the uh, amorphous, of, amorphous form of carbon. All right. Combustion of carbon allotropes. Now, combustion of carbon. Generally, when carbon burns in air, in complete supply of air, it's going to produce carbon for oxide and water. Uh, carbon for oxide, sorry. It will produce carbon for oxide. It's uh, hydrocarbons that when they burn in air, Combustion, they will produce carbon dioxide and water. But carbon, when it burns in full supply of air, it will produce carbon dioxide, uh, then heat will be given off. But when there is an incomplete or limited supply of air, when there is a limited supply of air, it will not produce carbon dioxide, rather, carbon dioxide will be produced. So, in SS, SS air, there is a complete combustion and carbon dioxide is produced. But in a limited supply of air, there is partial or incomplete combustion. In this case, carbon dioxide is formed as below or as below. So it's carbon dioxide that will be formed. Of course, heat will be given up because it has to do with burning. It has to do with heating. All right, this is what we have done so far. We have talked about the amorphous form of carbon. Uh, and the combustion of carbon. Thank you very much for being part of this particular class. But remember, for further discussion or for any other thing, you can get to me through my phone line or WhatsApp line, plus 234-8065573229, plus 234-8065573229, or send me an email through my email address at crystal116 at gmail.com at crystal116 at gmail.com and that is it thank you for being part of this video still remember to hit the subscription icon and even notification button for you to get notification whenever i get new video uploaded in my channel thank you and be blessed and have a wonderful day